Welcome back to Awake Network. Buhari's minister and aid defy restriction on large gathering amid coronavirus. Before we go over to the details of this news, this is our first of the my channel. Kindly hit on the red subscription button and don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you'll be informed whenever we make new upload. Now over to the details of the news. Bashir Magashi, Minister of Defense, and Gabash Gabashi, spokesman to President Muhammad Buhari, were among those in attendance at a public event in Abuja, despite a restriction on large gatherings in the nation's capital. The event, 2020, 2020 Annual Leadership Lecture, organized by the Barewa Old Boys, Association Abuja branch was held in Asokoro area of the city on Saturday morning. Although there is no case of the coronavirus in the FCT as, as of Saturday morning, the Federal Capital Territory Administration has joined other states to restrict large crowd to curb the spread of the disease. Ramatu Aliu, FCT Minister of State, announced the restriction on Tuesday during a meeting with relevant agencies in the nation's capital. At the venue of the, of the program, it was observed that guests were asked to use hand sanitizers and their body temperature check. But there have been cases where people are infected without showing symptoms immediately. Mm -hmm. Six, 64 persons were present at the lecture although 95 seats were reserved for attendees. That is the report of Buhari AIDS, a minister defiling the public gathering, the ban against public gathering that was announced and was put in place by the same government. I think that is one of the major, as in that is one of the major issue, challenges and problems that we have as a country, why why we have why we have a some set of rules for the for for the followers, and we have a different set of rules for the for the leaders. That's why things are not going straight in this country. How can you, as a government, put a ban in place, and that same person will go and defy that ban? What do you expect other people to do? And how do you think you can persecute others that, that are going to come against this ban? It is very bad. It is really, 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 really bad that this Buhari administration that have that have promised to fight against corruption and to bring order or dullness in the public life is the one that is misleading and cause, and leading Nigerians astray. Is this same Gabashi that have come out to attack those that call on President Buhari to address the nation that they are populism and they are and they are trying to to cause division in the country. And now him, he have gone, uh, uh, gone, gone ahead to to hold this event in Abuja. He did just hold it, but he was attended, and other ministers that were invited were all present. And all these people, all this was was being heard in Abuja when Nigeria is trying to scramble with this coronavirus. It's really bad and it's really shameful and disgrace to to the Buhari administration and to his ministers that can't control or that can obey the simple orders that was given by their own government is really absurd. And I wonder what they will do to those that, that will defy this ban now. Because they have set a bad example for others. And I believe, trust me, Nigerians is going to follow them. And let's see if they are going to persecute those that will break this order. Because they started it all. It's really painful. I'm going to take some of the comments because Nigerians are not really happy with this and they are really angry about what these ministers have done and nothing is being done about it. The first comment I have there say, same people trying to crucify government, uh, Governor Sheyi Makinde. That is it. This government must lead by example and adhere strictly to all precautionary measures as advised globally. That is, this is what they say. I don't think our brothers, our bookkeepers at the other half really believe 
code 19 nigeria is real and potent we might learn the harsh way this thing that we might learn the harsh way which is not what we want the first one the other comment said if this thing hits call not you will have yourself to blame they are now saying that if he hit the corner, that Buhari and his and his age will be blamed. COVID nineteen, ha ha ha, saying, "Come to me, baby." <laughs> he's saying COVID nineteen is laughing at them and he's telling them to come to me. Other comments say one of the major problems we have with this country is disintegration and non-compliance to basic instruction. Just what I have said and. It, it started from the top. I wonder what will happen now. On that comment, say, very useless set of people. <laughs> say, they are very useless set of people. On that comment, say, the virus has already found its way in Abuja. Nobody is safe now. The virus didn't respect anyone. Yes, I failed to report. The virus is now in Abuja. Two people have been confirmed this morning to be with the virus. I wonder what she will Gabashon was was thinking and the minister and that the last comment i have here say so people gather in the wave of coronavirus is this love or that the last comment say this is totally irresponsible those are the words of people and don't forget you can share your thoughts on this matter as well because we hope to see you at the at the comment session. Thank you and keep keeping informed with our waste network.